Hello YouTube, this is my XMOD collection. This XMOD was is a custom hobby grade XMOD that has a tiny RC carbon fiber chassis with all wheel drive with the batteries uh, and hobby grade components instead of the stock uh, XMOD electronics. This X mod is a uh, uh, mint condition uh, X mod uh, Mitsubishi Evo body with custom blacked out multi spoke chrome wheels. Well, they used to be chrome, now they're black. Uh, with all wheel drive, custom front suspension, and a red motor. Uh, the first one had a yellow stage 2, this one has a red stage 2. This is a, an NSX with on an evolution chassis with aluminum knuckles you can kind of see them in there uh, Scion TC body kit rims and a wide body kit with stage 2 and all wheel drive uh, this one is a another uh, NSX uh, with all wheel drive set up for offer for driving off road well driving on uneven surfaces with raised suspension and um, Subaru Impreza wheels with treaded tires, a stage two and all wheel drive. This is my uh, Supra project with quite expensive aluminum wheels imported from Germany with, uh, they were quite expensive to say the least. Uh, it's going to be dark gray with a candy blue overcoat on top of that should look pretty cool uh, my custom mini Z beetle body mounted on an evolution chassis uh, it's basically stock except for the battery wires they're bigger ones I put on uh, next is my Subaru Impreza body well car with the mo uh, most rare uh, Gen 1 wheel upgrade wheels. They're six spoke with a silver lip. Uh, this has uh, purple aluminum suspension in the front and rear with uh, full aluminum uh, drive train in the rear. It's all wheel drive with um, most with partially aluminum. Uh, you can see the aluminum suspension in the back. It's actually purple. It looks more like a red. Um, over here is my Hummer that I got last week from Xmodder25. Go subscribe to him. He's a great guy. Uh, with body kit added on. Um, and this one is my custom built honcho with independent suspension. Well, not independent suspension, solid axle suspension. I'm um, using soft Gen 1 springs in the front. I uh, even have working toe hooks right there. Toe loops. Um, it's fully hobby grade with a 7.4 volt lithium battery that I custom made using two AAA sized batteries that are lithium cells. Uh, has a functioning tailgate latch. tailgate opens. Uh, you can see the suspension working here. With a, a CB antenna that actually works. I'll take the body off real quick. This, mind you, this is not finished, but his chassis. It uses a servo mounted right in there. Futaba uh, servo works quite well. Uh, the receiver is mounted there. Uh, steering servo is right in front of that. You can see the servo horn right there. Um, the ESC is mounted right there. Um, 
um, as the rear suspension is made at, uh, using stock uh, Gen 1 springs from a X mod. That's pretty good suspension overall. Um, this was built off a 125th scale uh, Jeep Honcho body uh, model kit. Um, it has a custom rear bumper I'm working on. Uh, not finished yet. At one point it did have a winch, but I had problems with the winch overheating and I burn up the servo that way, which was not fun. Um, oh, and the hobby grade uh, Gen 1 that I have, this one, it has full black and silver GPM in the front and rear with the tiny RC carbon fiber chassis. It definitely needs clean though. I'm running medium springs in the front and hard springs in the back. Seems to work pretty good with... Unfortunately, I'm not running aluminum rims on it. I'm running plastic ones because I don't have any more aluminum ones. Uh, this is a yellow stage 2 motor in here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to show you the suspension. It's in the... Um, this Evo, the front suspension is custom. The person who I designed it with does not want me to show it. Um, this NSX is just pretty fast in general. It's not bad. It's my race car, as you can tell by the many scratches on the front end. Um, this I hope to have finished this summer, by the end of summer, which is at the end of August. But, yep, that's my... X mod collection.